possible reason. Um, the, what is happening is that uh, the, ocean, the quality of the ocean water uh, in the near shore areas are deteriorating because of anthropogenic activities uh, due to the dumping of waste, uh, some of which are, are, are laden with a lot of nutrients. And so they are enriching the water column and uh, thereby leading to uh, the production of dense algal blooms or phytoplanktons, which we will, we will say, we, we, which are, some of uh, which are fish food. Uh, we call them, uh, and when you have a huge bloom like that on the surface of the ocean, uh, because they photosynthesize by using carbon dioxide and then releasing oxygen into the uh, environment, you might think that the top waters are very enriched with oxygen. However, what happens below the water surface is what is crucially important. Right. Because the phytoplanktons, some of them have a very short lifespan, and so when they die, they fall through the ocean water to the ocean bed where they decay, thereby using up huge amounts of oxygen. And so when such a situation uh, exists and temperature conditions uh, you know, uh, create what we call a thermocline, which separates the deeper cold water from the top overlying uh, lighter, warmer water. It prevents the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the absorption of oxygen from the atmosphere all the way through the water column onto the seabed. And so when these uh, low-lying uh, deep water uh, organisms uh, are deprived of oxygen, then a condition known as hypoxia uh, it comes about, and that leads to massive fish deaths. Uh, these, these scenarios have been recorded every now and then uh, in the Gulf of Mexico of the U.S. Eastern Seaboard Coast. Uh, we also have incidents of this nature uh, happening from time to time in Hong Kong, in, in, in the Togo Harbor. And then we also have similar kind of things happening in the Vaden Sea uh, in Denmark. So it is not something that uh, is new. It's been going on because of some of these conditions that are created in the ocean that leads to high depletion of oxygen uh, in the water column, therefore, therefore creating hypoxic events that leads to massive uh, uh, fish uh, deaths. Right. Okay, from what you just said, oxygen is important to the survival of life in the ocean. Are there any other factors that make sea creatures thrive in the ocean? Uh, uh, if, come again, please. Are there any other factors aside oxygen that make sea creatures thrive in the ocean? Oh, there are several factors. Um, normally, if you have a very good water quality, uh, we do a whole lot of assessments to find out uh, all the important components, the minerals, and um, uh, uh, other, uh, to enable them to thrive. Um, but some of oxygen is a key uh, to be able to 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 assure us.